Hello, and welcome to the Minister's Monthly Message for February 2022. I'm the Reverend Jen Raffensperger, and I serve as the Minister of the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of York, and these monthly fireside chats are a chance for me to chat with you. This month, I'm going to chat with you about home and change and about February's theme, which is widening the circle. I'm pre-recording this video well ahead of the day it's going to be released on the first Thursday of the month, February 3rd. The reason I'm working this far ahead is I'm going to be out of the office the first week of February because I'm finally moving to York. As many of you know, I have been commuting to UUCY from the Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C. since I started serving as your minister in August of 2021. This was for many reasons, and they're good reasons, and I don't regret my decision, but oh, am I ever glad that I'm not going to have to do this commute anymore. I'm also glad and grateful for a chance to learn about and explore this new community. Everyone at UUCY has made me feel at home, of course, and now I really get to think about what it means to make a home somewhere. Another bit of trivia about me, I've never lived more than 20 miles from the hospital where I was born. I've had the great good fortune to travel around much of the United States and even to visit another of a number of other countries. But for me, home has always been Maryland. Part of what excited me about the call to ministry is the chance to move to different parts of the country to learn about how people live outside that strange little bubble that surrounds Washington, D.C. and its immediately adjacent suburbs. Even though York isn't that far, it's still a very different place from the place I've always lived. The shift in culture here, 80 miles north of where I grew up, is fascinating to me. And it's a great opportunity for new learning. And that brings me to the idea of widening the circle. This is a report issued in June 2020 by the Unitarian Universalists Association's Commission on Institutional Change. It's called Widening the Circle of Concern. The report was called for after a 2017 hiring controversy in the southern region of the UUA that led to the resignation of the then president, Reverend Peter Morales. It's a complicated history, but the gist is the commission was charged to interview and to deeply hear the experiences of people of color and persons with other marginalized identities when they entered our congregations or when they tried to serve as our ministers. Where was the Unitarian Universalist Association of Member Congregations failing in making our welcome broadly enough? Where were we succeeding? Where was the heartbreak to be found? And what were the paths to healing that heartbreak? In February, we're going to be examining some history specific to our own UUA, most particularly on Sunday the 27th, with a service called Under the Big Tent, Widening Our Circle. If we feel at home in our congregation, what does it feel like for someone who comes from deeply different experiences? On the flip side, if we attend a service that doesn't feel comfortable for us, who might that service be for? Where is the space where we can hold our discomfort along with our welcome? To me, Unitarian Universalism is a grand and frankly an audacious experiment. How can we actively live into the kind of welcome that we want to be able to give? How do we learn to admit our failures with grace and open ourselves to new learning? And so as I shift my own living situation with all the stress and excitement that brings, 
This February is a great time to reflect on how, why, and who we welcome into our community. The other big thing about February is the start of our stewardship campaign. If you're a member or pledging friend of the congregation, you should have received your packet with information for you on deciding how best you can support UUCY in the upcoming year. This Sunday, February 6th, there's a lovely special worship planned that will introduce our theme, Coming Home. It's very much aligned with our monthly theme as we think about what it means to welcome someone to our spiritual home. Thank you for welcoming me, UUCY, and I will see you soon. <laughs>